Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, it's going to be another tutorial on how to make this bodice top. I'm wearing it right now. Ayan. So brang shiny niya, oh guys. Mm. Mm, ayan. So, by the way guys, ito parang mga tela ang ginagamit ko sa aking mga DIY tutorials. Ito yung mga tela ni Mami nung buhay pa siya. And, ayun. So, parang dami lang talaga ng tela niya. And dati, parang isipin mo yun, ginagamit niya yun para sa mga damit niya. Yun yung mga ginagamit niyang tela para gumawa ng sarili niyang damit, mga damit na papa, nung bata sila, mga gano'n. And sabi nga ni Mama, parang meron nga daw damit si Mami na ganito yung design, I mean yung print. So, itipin mo yun from conservative to ganito, di ba? So, yeah, I'm very thankful kasi hindi ko na kailangan gumastos ng tela para dito sa aking paggawa-gawa ng mga DIYs na to kasi meron ng tela dito si Mami. And ang kailangan ko nalang gastusin talaga is yung mga accessories like buttons and zippers and everything. Yun nalang talaga. So, I'm very thankful. Also, for those of you guys who wanna see what the other DIYs are, kung yung mga um, ginawa ko sa mga tela ni Mami. I will link down below the videos in the description box. So, go ahead and check it out after this video. I made one crop top and then a two-piece set from dun nga sa mga tela ni Mami. So, ayun. So, sana guys ma-appreciate nyo yung mga ginagawa kong DIYs, mga damit na ginagawa ko dito. Kasi, ito na lang yung parang remembrance ko kay Mami. And wala kasi ako masyadong matandaan pa sa kanya. She died when I was two, so I don't have a lot of memories of her. And these are like you know, itong mga tela na to, ito yung parang mana ko sa kanya, ganyan. Pag si Sue, she really loves si Sue when she was still alive. Yun yung kwento sa akin ng parents ko. And sobrang dami na talagang ginagawa na bit. So, I'm very happy na nakahilig ako din yung mga hilig niya dati. And, ayun nga, ito na nga lang talaga yung mga alaala ko kay mami. So, I hope you guys appreciate it as much as I do. So, yeah, before we get started with the tutorial, make sure that you guys are subscribed to my channel and also hit that notification bell down below so you won't miss any of my new videos. And, let's get started. Okay guys, so to make our bustier, we need these cutouts. So I have here, this is my main fabric and this is my lining. So yeah, this is the front part. This is our center front and then the two sides, okay? And then at the back, we have four pieces. This is the side back, the two centers, and another side back. So what we're gonna do is we're going to sew all our pieces together. So we're gonna start with our main pieces. We're gonna sew them together. We will start with our front pieces. So I'm just gonna sew these right sides together. And then I'm gonna sew the sides also on this side. And yet, I'm gonna sew it over here using a straight stitch. Okay, so I already pinned one side of our top. Now we're going to sew it along our seam line over here. Okay, so we have sewn the front piece of our top. Yun na ichura niya. So this is where we sewed. And so again, ichura niya, guys. Meron tayo excess fabric over here. We're going to cut that out later. And this is what the front fit looks like. So now we're going to sew on our back pieces to our front. So we're going to start at the side. This is the side of our back piece. Just put it like that, right sides together, and sew over here. Ganyan. Okay, so once that's done, we are going to sew on the last piece of our top, and that's the center back over here. Ganyan. And we're going to sew it right sides together, like so. Ganyan. And then also the other side. Ganyan. So we're just going to sew along here the same thing we did with the other ones, and then we're done. Okay, now that we've sewn all of the pieces together, we are now going to cut out these excess fabric. 
Over here, we're gonna do a zigzag stitch so that it wouldn't fray and then cut out the excess. Okay, so we have sewn and cut the excess fabric of our top. Ayan siya. Ayan. Okay, so what we're gonna do next is we're going to piece our lining fabric together. We're gonna do it the same way we did with this one. And then once that's done, we are going to sew the lining and our main fabric together. Okay, so our lining is done and we also have some excess fabric over here. We're going to cut that out and then we're going to iron this so that yung bubbles and it's a bit bubbly. So we're going to iron it out to flatten it. Okay, so we have cut out the excess fabric on our lining. Now we're going to make the boning of our bustier. We are going to put two, one over here and one over here. So over here, I have this excess fabric from my previous DIY. We are just going to measure 10 inches from this and then that will be the casing of our bodice. So I cut out two pieces. These are 10 inches long and 1 inch wide. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to fold it in half. And guys, okay, so I folded it in half. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to sew over here the opening over here and one end and then once we finish doing this we will put it here in the middle and then the other one on the side and then we're gonna sew along the edges over here as close to the edge as possible and that will be the case for our bone Okay, so this is our casing. And so gyan ko siya It's okay if it's messy because we're gonna put it inside the top so no one's gonna see it anyway. So what we're gonna do next is we're going to pin this in place. Like so. And then the other one. Ganyan. So over here at the bottom, we didn't see this because this is where we're going to put in the boning. So yeah. So we have sewed on the casing. This is what it looks like. Ganyan. And at the front, this is what it looks like. Ganyan. So now what we're gonna do is we are going to put in the bone. I'm gonna show you the bone. Okay, so these are the bones. Ganyan siya kahaba. And we're gonna put it inside here. So we have a small opening over here. Ganyan, ganyan. So we're gonna put it inside. Okay, so once it's inside, we're going to cut off this excess like one to two centimeters above the end of our casing. So I already cut the excess and ayan, so over here, as you can see, medyo, wait lang. And medyo matulis siya. It's a bit sharp. So we're going to file it down using a nail file so that it wouldn't poke you when you wear it. Okay guys, so now it's time to combine our lining fabric 
with the other one and we're going to sew on the top and the bottom okay we're going to leave the sides open because we're gonna put on buttonholes on the sides Okay, so once you're done sewing, we are going to cut out the excess fabric and also cut out this part over here. This is very important para hindi maging circle yung ating heart. Okay, and then after we're done cutting, we're going to flip this right side out. Okay, so we have flipped our top right side out. Now we are just going to iron it para mawala yung mga bubbles na to to flatten it too and also fix the edges. You know, yung mga ayan. And so yeah okay, so we have ironed out our top now we are going to put these these are buttons ito yung ano um buttons for barong but i'm gonna use this because i think it's cute and then these are the bun holes i already sewed on one side of the uh top by the way so on this side this is where we're gonna put this ganyan wait so we're gonna put this inside. We're going to fold this. So it should look like this. Ganyan. Only these buttonholes would be seen. And then we're gonna put these buttons on this side. And that will be our lock for our top. And guys, so I have pinned it in place. By the way, these are 12 buttonholes. And so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to sew it over here as close as possible to the edge. And guys, so I stitched it twice just to be sure that it doesn't come off when you wear it. So that's how our buttonholes looks like. And this is what the back of it looks like. And now we're going to move on to the buttons. We are going to mark out where the buttonholes are. And that will be the place of our button so that it's aligned. Now for the buttons, I will be hand sewing these on over here by the way guys if you want to know where i bought these i posted a video about it in my last vlog so go ahead and check it out there's a mini haul about all the accessories like buttons and zippers and everything so yeah i'll link it down below so you can watch it later after this video okay so we have sewed on the buttons of our top it looks so good and you know it's vintage vibes na yung niya dito sa back portion and ugh, ang ganda. <laughs> I'm so in love with this top talaga. And it's so shiny, you know. And so now, we are just going to wash it and then move on to the try-on portion of our top. I am so in love talaga dito. Ayun, ang ganda tignan. Lalo na here sa camera. Talaga, ang ganda yung tignan, no? Diba? Ang ganda yung tignan. Let's appreciate the beauty. So this is what the top looks like, and sure guys, and meron na yung bowing, so this part is quite hard, and, and then this is the back.
So yeah, that's all the looks that you can do with this top. Napaka versatile niya. And dami mo pwede ng gawin dito sa top na to. Like pwede mo siyang pang party, pang bar, pang casual wear, pang formal wear. Ah, alam mo yun, pwede mo siyang gamitin sa lahat. So nakakatawa din. And I really, really love the back detail ng top na to. As in, ang ganda talaga. So yeah, I hope you like this video, guys. And I will be making a lot more of these videos. So stay tuned for those. And yeah, that's it for this video, guys. I hope you like it. And if you do, please hit like. Like. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and the notification bell so you won't miss any of my new videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!